Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example deals with a rock being dropped from a height of 75 meters and we're trying to, the person who's dropping the rock is trying to attempt to hit a raft. And let's say when the rock is dropped, the raft is seven meters away floating along a river, but the rock will hit the water when the raft is four meters away. And then the question is, based on the fact that it's from a height of 75 meters, how fast is the raft moving? What is the velocity of the raft? So again, the rock is dropped when the raft is seven meters away. The rock hits the water four meters in front of the raft. Let's find the velocity of that raft. It all comes down to finding the time in the air. The time in the air, the equation we need for that is this one right here. So we're going to calculate how long it takes for the rock to reach the river. We call that time in the air. And that is typical for a lot of projectile motion problems where we need to find out how long the projectile is actually moving. And we use the equation y equals y sub naught plus v sub naught in the y direction times time plus one half gt squared because acceleration of course is acceleration due to gravity. The final height will be zero, the initial height will be 75 meters, the initial velocity in the y direction, that's going to be zero because the rock is simply dropped, so that would be plus zero, and this would be half times g, which is a minus 4.9 t squared. So we have to solve this equation for t, so we get 4.9 t squared is equal to 75, or t squared is equal to 75 divided by 4.9, or t is the square root of that. So let's go ahead and calculate once I find my calculator. So this is 75 divided by 4.9, take the square root of that, and we get 3.912 seconds. 3.912 seconds for the time that the rock is in the air. And during that time, the raft will have traveled a distance of three meters, which means that now we can say that distance equals velocity times time, or velocity is equal to distance divided by time. And so the distance traveled from seven to four, that is three meters, and the time is 3.912 seconds. And so the velocity therefore is, drum rolls, times three equals 0 0.77 meters per second to two decimal places. So that would then be the velocity of the raft. So in that case, now that we've tried it, we should drop another rock when the raft is roughly three meters away. At that point, we'll probably hit the raft and that's how it's done. 